The peninsula of Kintyre on the west coast of Scotland is the most southerly part of Argyllshire. Its western seaboard, caressed by the Atlantic Ocean, resounds to the cries of the Kittiwake and the Herring Gull. It is 40 miles long, and every mile is beautiful. The long stretches of silver sand sloping down to the sea are at their best on a golden summer's day, but they can be magnificent too in the gusty roar of a winter's morning. Here on the edge of the Atlantic, time seems to stand still. Even the village shop displays prices of 20 years ago, but an entry you are brought right up to date. The city is many miles away from this peaceful peninsula. The road leading to it is in places twisted and narrow, but many campers and caravanners come to its shores. The beach is at your doorstep, and the girls can bathe in the sea while mother and son get on with their household chores. The hills of Kintyre run along its length from north to south rising gently to not much more than a thousand feet. Trees add their colour to the hillsides, and the tracks that lead to the summits afford fine opportunities for rambling. The air is heavy with the scent of pine trees. Twinkling barns and streams run down to the sea past the sleepy little villages that nestle at the foot of the hills. Sheep graze on the gentle slopes and all around there is a spirit of pastoral content. The rich grass of the lowlands with its clover blossom and the meadows so full of tiny flowers nourish some of the finest dairy and beef herbs in Britain. The milk from the dairy herbs is taken to a not to date mechanised creamery. Here thousands of gallons of milk are daily made into butter and cheese. A conveyor belt system speeds up the return of the empty milk cans to the surrounding farms. On the eastern side of the peninsula, the calmer waters of Kilbrannan Sound are sheltered by the misty and lofty Isle of Arne. Here, gentle breezes drift up the sound, balmy with the scent of the sea. Children fish from its rocks or seek adventures and strange sea creatures in the rock pools. In some parts of the peninsula, Gaelic is spoken, and many place names have a Gaelic meaning. Kintyre itself is Gaelic for head or end of the land. It is so called because it is the most southerly point of Argyll. A rough and hilly road round the south of the peninsula leads to the Mull of Kintyre. At the Mall, the road drops 700 feet to the lighthouse, which is itself 300 feet above sea level. Thirteen miles away, there is the Antrim coast of Ireland. It was over this sometimes stormy sea that the first Scots came from Ireland to settle in Scotland, and it was here Columba the Saint landed in 563 on his way to Iona to preach the gospel. Kintyre has many links with the past. The monastery at Saddle, founded in the 12th century by Somerled Lord of the Isles, was once as great an ecclesiastical seat as Iona, and it is remembered in the daily prayers of Rome to this very day. The churchyard close by, with its sculptured tombstones of abbots and warriors, is supposed to be the resting place of the mighty Somerled himself. But today, Kintyre is thriving. Campbelltown, its chief town, has over 7,000 inhabitants. And it is the shopping and social centre of the farming community for 20 miles around. During the two world wars, it was an important naval base. Today, its sheltered loch is a busy fishing port, and it is also a lifeboat station. 
in ancient days, three centuries before Edinburgh was known. It was the capital of the Scottish kingdom of Dalriada. Here too, in the fifth century, St. Kieran, the forerunner of St. Columba, founded one of the first Christian churches in Scotland, and it was then called Kinloch Ceran, Cianwoch Hilichioren, the head of the end of St. Kieran's Loch. The town was renamed Campbelltown in honour of the Campbells of Argyll, and in 1701 it was created a royal borough. But this is 20th century Kintyre, exporting its own coal, whisky and farm produce. This coal comes from the only coal mine in Argyllshire. It lies five miles west of Campbelltown on the edge of the Atlantic and the coal is brought to the surface by the longest conveyor belt in Britain. After sorting and grading, it is loaded onto lorries by chutes. Kintyre people are proud of their mine, which must be one of the cleanest in the whole of Britain. There is no ugly bing to disfigure the landscape, nor is there any trace of the dirt and the grime that is so characteristic of a mine industry. Some of the coal is used locally, but most is taken by lorry to Campbelltown, where it is automatically loaded onto the coal boats. Over 3,000 tonnes a week are exported, mostly to Northern Ireland. Tarbert stands at the northern tip of Kintyre. Tarbert, that's a north word, and it means a narrow neck of land. The neck is less than a mile wide and was originally a seabed when Kintyre itself was an island. Tarbert is a delightful little fishing town of over 1,000 inhabitants, augmented in the herring season by many fishermen. Then blue jerseys, weather-beaten hands and tan faces meet your gaze on every side. To the gentle lilt of a Gallic air, a net is mended, or a rope is spliced. In the landlocked harbour, small boats nod at a safe anchorage. Hundreds of yachtsmen come sailing into Tarbert every year, always sure of a warm welcome and a Gallic greeting. Steamers come too. Every weekday the mail boat arrives from Gurak, giving a temporary bustle to this little fishing port. At Tarbert, passengers disembark, cross the ancient seabed either by bus or on foot to reach West Loch Tarbert. There the motor vessel Loch Hill is loading mail, freight and passengers for the isles that lie to the west, Giga, Jura, Isla and Colonsay. Everything is carried from bread baked in Glasgow to motor bicycles made in Birmingham. As the ship casts off to sail down West Loch Tarbert, another day is marked off Kintyre's calendar. Tomorrow we may wander to its boundaries, roam its rock-strewn shores and sandy beaches, and meander through its villages and fertile valleys, where a scent of honeysuckle is mixed with the tang of the sea. Here is the glory of nature that is Kintyre.